is coming in five days. So what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get him out of here. We're going to help him escape. To coincide with the 3D re-release of Pixar's Finding Nemo, we're getting this. Another Finding Nemo video game. I realize I don't sound all that excited about it, and there's a reason for that. It's the same reason you GameCube owners went instinctively into the fetal position as soon as I said Finding Nemo video game. Like an aquarium that hasn't been cleaned in months. That game stunk. But hey, it's been a decade, right? Water under the bridge. And hey, that water's thriving with all sorts of delightful sea creatures voiced by Willem Dafoe and Ellen DeGeneres. So let's give this new Finding Nemo game a chance, right? Only this Finding Nemo game isn't new. It's a 3D version of a six-year-old DS game. Too bad someone didn't clog that gear with a pebble. Now, it's not that the original version of Finding Nemo Escape to the Big Blue was awful or anything, it's just that it's a pretty lazy course to take, to just slap a 3D effect onto Finding Nemo DS and call it a 3DS product. And the original game wasn't some kind of licensed masterpiece that would make this a promising idea either. So, I mean, it's just an OK Kids game repackaged six years later. Now, of course, to be fair, they did do a little more than that. The DS version had weak presentation that didn't really feel Finding Nemo, and that has been addressed this time. You get actual scenes from the movie to set up the minigames, which is an obvious improvement. But otherwise, though, I mean, this is like the same game. Escape to the Big Blue is a collection of about 30 minigames divided among the playable fish, so each character has its own group of minigames. But the thing is, they're all basically using the same games over and over. They all have a, a monkey ball escape level, uh, and then there's the on-rails racing thing. I mean, they look different between characters, but they're functionally identical. So, I mean, 30 minigames is technically true, but it's sort of a stretch. I guess the game's best quality is that you can use the tokens you earn during the minigames to buy things for your fish tanks. The game has interactive aquariums you can fill with Finding Nemo characters and decorate however you'd like. The options are a bit shallow, but it is a nice touch. Now, this is more of a warning for parents, but you might have already bought this the first time Finding Nemo came out. And even if you didn't, unless your kid's begging for it, you're probably better off using that money to just buy the movie. That thing's a modern classic. But this, uh, this is the bad fit. 